Hi, Skittles, it's Cool here, and welcome to another episode of Q&A. We're at episode, what, 18, isn't it? What, 18, yeah. So, yeah, that's a lot of episodes. <laughs> I think it'll be like another, uh, I can't count, so that's another, like, halfway through the year, I think? No, wait, we can't be, this is April. Oh, I don't fucking know. I can't, I'm no good with numbers. Anyway, yes, episode 18, um... If you want this series to continue, as always, you can feel free to leave questions in the comments, as many as you like. There's no limit, you can ask whatever you want, uh, just, yeah, anything. Uh, you can do so, like I said, in the comments, or as a personal uh, message on YouTube, or on Tumblr as well. Uh, you don't even need a Tumblr account, you can just go on and ask me whatever. So yeah, anyway, enough faffing about. Let's get on with the first question for today. Have you ever played Bayonetta? No, I haven't played uh, Bayonetta before, but from what I've uh, heard and seen, it, it looks, it's kind of like a Devil May Cry, but with a female protagonist. Um, like I said, I've, I haven't played Bayonetta yet. I don't really, I, I've seen it and it doesn't really uh, interest me that much. So, I, like I said, I heard it's actually uh, pretty good, but no, I haven't played it yet, only because I haven't been bothered to look into it. Do you watch the Pokemon anime or the movies? I have seen like the the very first uh, uh ver like the first few episodes of the Pokemon anime back when I was like really really young. Back when I was like I think I was like five years old, maybe even younger. But like when I was really really young, I remember watching like uh, the first episodes of the anime. I think it was like when it first came out too. Oh, at least the English dub. Um, but so yeah, and um. And yeah, I have watched like a lot of the uh, movies as well. Like I've got, like I think I've got most of them on DVD. I've got Pokemon Heroes, uh, the Giratina one, and yeah, most of the like the thing like the fourth gen. I don't. Know. I have most of the movies on DVD. Um, and they're, yeah, they're, they're alright. Um, as for the rest of the anime, I've I haven't really watched that much of the anime. I, I've never like sat down and sat through all of it because I mean, for fuck's sake, it's so it's gone on for so long and. I, I have seen like a few episodes here and there, but not like sat down and watched like the whole entire series. No, because that would take too fucking long. Um, so yeah. Do you like Markiplier? Um, I haven't really seen most of his videos. If anything, he's, he's I, I sort of view him as kind of like the American version of PewDiePie. He really is, but um, uh, I, have, I have seen like a few of his videos, and some of them are like pretty damn funny, like the Surgeon Simulator ones, like the one on iPad, that, those were absolutely hilarious, I like laughing out loud at some of those, but in other times, like, like for example, his Octodad Let's Play, like some of the parts where he like rages out, I feel like I'm just completely uh, obnoxious, because he's like, he's like yelling his ass off at something like so small, and I, I, I just think it's kind of just stupid and obnoxious, but as for what I think of him, eh, he's alright I suppose. I've seen worse YouTubers out there. What is your favourite mythological creature? I'm not sure. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to say. I don't really know that many off the top of my head, but... Uh, dragons... Dragons are... Dragons are pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> look at them. They're like giant flying reptiles that breathe fire. That, that's pretty cool. And also chimeras as well. Chimeras are pretty cool, like, because it's like sort of like a mishmash of animals we all know, but sort of like, it's... No, I, I like chimeras. They're kind of creative. I like them. And yeah, I think that's about it. I don't really know that many mythological creatures. But yeah, dragons and chimeras are like my two favourite, I suppose. Did you see the Smash Bros. Nintendo Direct? If so, what are your opinions on the changes in the new version? Yes, I have seen the new uh, Nintendo uh, Direct of the new Smash Bros. And a lot of the changes they've made are actually pretty cool. Like the whole having a final destination like different themes for the final destination stage is a really cool idea and also the online play for fun and for glory that's also a really uh, nice idea um, because not only does it appeal to like the more uh, like the newcomers and the casual more the ca like the more casual plays uh, but it also appeals to the hardcore gamers as well who just want to like you know beat shit up like and no, yeah 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 some of the new stuff like for fun for glory is like that's a really cool feature I like that that they're sort of appealing to both sides of the fandom that's that's I like that why aren't you a Sonic fan because I don't like Sonic games <laughs> that a good enough answer for you I, I don't really like that many of the uh, Sonic games I just don't find them very appealing, apart from the one you all know that I keep rambling on about, which I'm sure you all know about. But yeah, I don't really like most of the Sonic games, like, both the old ones or the new ones, um, but 
So yeah, that's all, that's why I'm not a Sonic fan. I just don't like it. How do you feel about Greninja being a playable character in the new Smash Bros? I actually think Greninja would be uh, is, is a really nice candidate uh, for the new Smash Bros because with that. Like, like compared to like the other two starters, Del Fox wouldn't really work that well because Del Fox is more of like a special attacker and it wouldn't really work for like a fast pace like when everyone was like punching and kicking and she would be just like flinging her magic wand around. It wouldn't seem like that. It would, Del Fox wouldn't be very good as a fighter. Uh, Chestnut would be a lot better than Del Fox, but, but then again, he would sort of be kind of like Bowser, so yeah. So Greninja is actually like a really good candidate because he's sort of very fast and he can shoot stuff, beat shit up, and yeah, yeah Greninja is like a, it's actually a really good character for the new Smash Bros. I, I like Greninja. Have you ever watched Dragon Ball Z Abridged? If so, what are your thoughts on it? Yes, I have uh, recently just watched uh, all the um, DBZ Abridged episodes and oh god, they are really goddamn funny. And it's like the perfect example of a parody because most people sort of fail to understand the difference between a parody and a reference. A parody is taking something and putting it on and remaking it uh, with a more comedic twist like Dragon Ball Z Abridged. A reference is just reminding something that people exists for half a second. But yeah, Dragon Ball Z Bridge, I'm really liking it so far. It's really damn funny. I, don't, I haven't even like watched the original Dragon Ball Z. At least I don't think so. If I have, I was probably like really, really young. I do remember watching like the original Dragon Ball and a bit of Dragon Ball Z when I was like a really little kid and I barely remember any of it because I'm no good with memory, but yeah, Dragon Ball Z Abridged, really goddamn funny and I'm really liking it. Do you plan on getting Smash Bros on the 3DS? Do I even need to say it? Of course I'm gonna fucking get the new Smash Bros on the 3DS. I'm gonna, I think I might actually get it on both on the Wii U and the 3DS. Um, cause I do know the 3DS version comes out earlier uh, than the Wii U one, which is kind of odd, but, but no, 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 that's not me. That's actually quite like a smart idea because both versions are, uh, differ, um, like, I don't know how much, but I know there's like diff, uh, different stages, and I think there's different game modes as well. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's, it's been a while since I've seen the last Nintendo Direct, but yeah, it's a good idea of having the 3DS one come before the main console one. So it gets, because it like kind of gets people hyped. It's kind of like a demo, but it's the full game. But no, this is still, I do, like I said, I do plan on getting it for both versions. I still need to get a Wii U. I still need to actually get a Wii U though, but yeah, I am definitely going to get uh, Smash Bros on 3DS as well as Wii U, and I actually plan on doing maybe a few videos on it, so yeah. What's the hardest game you've ever played? I know a lot of you are probably expecting me to say Dark Souls because, as many of you know, Dark Souls is considered to be one of the most hardest games ever, but only because it's just kind of unfair, really. It doesn't really... It doesn't, the difficulty doesn't really match it on like the gameplay, just more of on how unfair it can be. And I don't really like that too much. But as for, hardest, as for the hardest game I've ever played, like to the end, um, I'd probably have to go with uh, Jack 2. Um, I know I don't actually have to cover this, just a HD remake, but shut up. Uh, but Jack 2 is actually surprisingly hard because of, um, mainly because like, uh, uh, you have like such limited health and there's some sections where you do lose a lot of health and it does become very taxing as well as the escort missions as well. The escort missions are also really hard. I think there's one like where you're traveling these guys through the sewers and you have to stop them from dying and I got stuck on that part for so long but goddamn. But I still like Jack 2 because it's actually genuinely difficult and it, I, I, I like, that's what I like about it. It's actually genuinely hard but I like it because of the difficulty. So yeah. It's Pikachu! It's Fuck! Do you keep all of your games or do you trade them in? No, I, I don't think I've ever, at least in recently, traded away uh, some of my uh, games. I had, I did do that like once as a kid where I like, had this massive stack of old PS2 games that I barely played and I sold them in and I immediately regret it today because a lot of them were like so good. I think there was like a Lemmings one, there was Simpsons Hit and Run, which I have managed to get a hold of as well. Um, and I think, like, yeah, I, I, I sold a bunch of, like, pre-owned games, and I don't know why, because now I desperately want to play those old games again, goddamn. So, yeah, I don't, I don't, and I don't really have any main reason to trade games in. Um, if there is a reason, I do, because if the game I want is kind of faulty, or, because uh, that's, like, the main reason you'd want to trade it in, or, like, get a refund, or whatever, but 
So, no, yeah, I haven't recently. No, I haven't tried to edit uh, any of my games. I hate Pokemon. What are you gonna do about it? I am going to completely respect your opinion because I know all, all of us have completely different opinions and we're all entitled to them. I have no problem with you hating Pokemon. That's just a personal thing of you, and I don't mind at all. What's your favourite Pokemon from Generation 5? Oh, come on, mate. Asking me what my favourite Pokemon is from Generation 5 is like asking me who was my favourite Nazi from World War 2. Because I think I've said this before hundreds of times, I don't really like Generation 5 mainly because most of the designs are kind of, well, lacking from the original uh, Pokemon games. But if I had to choose my favourite... Actually, no, hang on. V yes, this one. Victini, because it's just so goddamn adorable. I even had this tiny little plush I got from Shinto again. It's so cute! Victini's like the only uh, good Pokemon from Generation 5. I know there is a few others that I actually think are kind of cool, but Victini is like my most favorite from Generation 5. It's so cute! Who was your favorite of the Elite Four in Kill La Kill? Gamagori. Definitely Gamagori is my favorite of uh, the Elite Four. Only because he's just so fucking hilarious. Like, his sort of scale like like changes like drastically uh, just depending on the situation sometimes it's sort of competently sized but in other times where he's like meant to be comedic he like towers over everyone in just this hilariously comedic fashion and so sometimes he even does it like scenes where it's like not necessary i think like i think in the in the flashback during his flashback scene um where he's like meets satsuki for the first time like and like, he, he's, he, and he's like massive compared to Satsuki and it just and I'm just thinking why is he so big it's not needed it's not meant to be it, like, it's not in a scene where it's comical but no but yeah Kamigori is definitely just he's, he's hilarious and I love him and he also reminds me of one of my old um teachers from school um Mr. Gilmore I believe because <laughs> he was also sort of very strict and oi what are you doing with your socks down and your Shirt untucked and your tie not done up. Go and you look like a bloody caveman. Go out there and looking like a prophet. Come in looking like a prophet, gentleman. Oh uh, yeah, Mr. Gilmore. He's a, he's a hilarious guy. And and Gamagori kind of reminds me of him as well. So yeah, Gamagori is fucking beast. He's awesome. Have you ever played any of the Paper Mario games? And if so, which one is your favourite? I haven't played uh, much of the Paper Mario games. I think the only one I've ever played is Super Paper Mario on the Wii, and it's actually surprisingly fun. It's very addicting and uh, very fun to play. Um, I haven't played any other of the, I haven't played any other of the Paper Mario games mainly because it, it sort of focuses on turn-based RPG and I don't really uh, that's, that's, a, that's a style of gameplay that I that, that doesn't really set my taint hairs alight with excitement. Uh, well apart from Pokemon it's like the only good one. Uh, but anyway um yeah I haven't played I'm not really interested in any of the other Paper Mario games but this one is actually sort of like it has like traditional, more traditional like head stomping platforming, which is more of my style. Um, so yeah, Super Paper Mario is like the only one I've played and yeah, it's, it's actually quite good. I totally recommend it if you have a Wii. Suddenly a wild Fluttershy appears. What do you do? Go Master Ball! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. Well, that's all for today's episode of Q&A. Uh, like I said, if you don't want this series to die because Google Plus just completely fucked up the comments, Feel free to leave a uh, question in the comment section or as a message on YouTube or Tumblr. Whatever that takes your fancy. I really don't want the series to die. I don't think you want the series to die either. So leave as many questions as you want. Leave them about anything related to what's going on in the world or whatever. So, yeah. My name's Skittles is Cool. And I'll see you next time.